the knock on the door. We're going to be at 299. A hopeful candidate and a pair of comfortable shoes. Sometimes no one is home, but other times someone opens the door. Hello. Hi, I'm Cyril. You're Emily out here in Stony Plain. Hey, These days, candidates can use social media, texting, and robocalls to reach voters. No rest for me for a while, but that's okay. But for many, door knocking is the best way to connect. People are losing a lot of jobs. I think because of all the access we have, it can be confusing for folks. And this really kind of simplifies that. And then it also kind of cuts through maybe any misinformation. Okay, take care. Cheers. UCP candidate Cyril Turton is running door to door in Stony Plain. Well, we have been a conservative. Well, thank you so much for that. He was a city councillor in Spruce Grove before he became an MLA four years ago. Supporters. He's starting his second time around this neighborhood. The door to door aspect provincially and municipally does make an incredible difference. I mean, for many individuals, the only time they actually come face to face with their elected officials or candidate is at their door. Just out and about saying hi. But do people like seeing candidates at the door? Coming to the door is just fine. If I got questions, I can ask the questions when they're standing here. That's very nice, actually. We have to get to know one to one because otherwise we can see only the picture on the sign or wherever, right? We don't see the person. And now we have a face to the name and also looks like she's very approachable. Maybe if you're considering supporting the Albert NDP. Not everyone is open to chatting. I'm undecided at this moment in time. I have lots of concerns. Seeing if perhaps if I could count on your support in the upcoming election here this spring. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Candidates don't always win the vote right away, but door knocking can help when it's time to get out the vote by identifying supporters they can call. Strategist Mandy Johnson has worked on campaigns over the last decade. You can learn a lot um, from those interactions, not just by the words, but by body language and, and different things like that. So it's a really good um, way to measure uh, your support level. Polls suggest that support for the UCP and NDP is evenly split. A handful of votes could make the difference in some ridings. Each seat will determine who forms government, so don't be surprised if a politician turns up at your door before May 29th. Michelle Belfontaine, CBC News, Edmonton.